thanks for tuning in. Today I want to do a review of my Cartier Ballon Bleu watch and it is this one right here. Usually it's on my wrist but today because it's the featured piece it's off my wrist. I've had this piece for several years now. I've, I've gotten a few questions about it as well so I wanted to share my thoughts on this specific piece because I know watches can be a really complicated space and I also shared earlier this year that I think I might be in the mood for a new watch as part of my luxury wish list. And as I embark on that journey, I wanted to share as much as I can, but I did also want to share like where I'm starting from and what main piece I have, which is this one. And um, I have a lot of things that I can share about this piece, so I'm going to jump right into it. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Katie. I like to talk about all sorts of luxury fashion, handbags, watches, all sorts of things. I share some new pieces that I pick up, but also like to share in-depth reviews of the pieces that I have so that we can all mindfully curate and grow our luxury collections. So if you like what you're seeing, please like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. So I'll start off with the specifics of the piece that I have. So this is a Ballon Bleu. It is a quartz movement, which means it's not automatic and it's actually battery powered. It is, I believe, a 29 millimeter, which I think is like the smallest they make in this whole model. And I believe they discontinued this specific piece. They're either all automatic or uh, in this size, it's with a stainless steel bracelet versus this uh, croc leather strap. Um, or they used to also have some versions that had like a diamond face. So it became like a ladies watch and it was like diamond embellished uh, with the white croc strap. So there are a few different versions. I think this specific one, like I said, has been discontinued. I want to say, like I purchased mine in 2016. It was pre-loved at that time. And I purchased it from Torno as part of their like certified pre-owned watches section. Um, this piece I think was from around 2009. I, I remember the number six being associated with it and not from 2016. It was either about six years old or it was like from 2006, but I think it was about six years old. So I, I want to say it was about 2009-ish um, that this model, like that this was actually purchased like brand new. Um, and I think that's around the time that this specific model had been discontinued in like the 2010s. It has a stainless steel case and it has like the blued steel um, movement, like the hands. So the hour and the minute hands are in that signature blue steel. Um, there's like a sapphire kind of domed case, um, case, crystal. <laughs> um, and it has the signature blue, I think it's pronounced cabochon, um, like cap on the side uh, with the little bit that bubbles out. And it is a, like I said, leather strap. It's a wraparound style and it clasps in the back with the Cartier kind of buckle. And to open it, you just, you just pull on the buckle and open it and it snaps open really easily. And the face has Roman numerals on it and there's no date. It just says like Cartier. The automatics have on the face on the bottom, it will also say automatic, but this one just says Cartier because it's a quartz movement. All right, um, I will start off by sharing wear and tear on this piece. So I purchased this in 2016. I've pretty much worn it daily. Um, it is the like it's like I only have like one luxury watch which is pretty much it, it's this one um, so I wore this as my daily watch I probably wore it for like I don't know 350 days a year um, there would be a few times if I'm not going outside I won't wear it or I'd go out for a quick errand and I wouldn't wear it but other than that I pretty much wore it every single day um, I wore it to work I wore it out to brunch like I'd wear it dressed up and dressed down um, I'm trying to emphasize like how much I've worn this watch so that um, you can get a understanding of like the wear that it shows after those four plus years that I've worn it pretty much every day there are some scratches on the face because I had not been particularly 
um, careful, overly careful or overly like babying this. I just put it on my watch and I go about my day. Um, as you can see, I also use my hands a lot. So like, I do remember a few times I actually hit something. Um, I hit the corner of like a glass shelf at some store. Uh, I had, I, you know, I'd run into a few things. So um, there are some surface level scratches and that I think is pretty consistent with the amount of wear that it got. And um, the most amount of wear I think is shown on the strap because it is a croc strap. There's literally some cracking that's happened on the inside of the leather strap. Um, and there's like a, a whole bunch of like discoloration that's happened as well from just me wearing it um, and it being against my skin. There's like some dings as well. So there's like a, a portion of along the edge of the strap that's no longer fully black. It looks a little white. Uh, so it's either the leather got dinged off or it might be like an edge coat that has sort of come off. Uh, so those are the main points of wear that I can see. I think it's pretty good. Like. If you look at the outside of the strap, this outside of this strap looks still looks pretty pristine in my opinion. It doesn't look like it's, you know, super worn and super wrinkled. <laughs> um, I think what helps with it not being so wrinkled is the fact that it is this sort of wraparound style versus the ones where you thread the strap into uh, a buckle you know what I mean when you thread it into a buckle you give it a lot of grooves and that's where a lot of the wrinkles will form um, but because this is a wraparound style like the part of the like the exterior part of the strap pretty much stays consistent there's really nothing to give it some severe stress uh, and that's why I think it can stay pretty pristine I never went swimming with this watch on. Uh, not that I recommend you do that because it has a leather strap, but um, I would wear it, you know, like it would get exposed to water like from washing my hands and sometimes in the summertime when it's really hot, um, sometimes there, you know, I get really sweaty. Um, so like there's that level of like daily life level of water exposure but you know I never went like swimming and with it on or um, like I don't do like the dishes with this on you know fully exposed to getting like a whole bunch of water on it you know I never accidentally took a shower things like that so um, it's very minimal amount of exposure to water uh, but I think it's in really excellent shape for how much I've worn this piece um, like how many days it's been on my wrist, like how long it's been exposed to like the oils on my wrist, you know, how many hand washes. Hi, I know there's a dramatic change in scenery. Uh, for some reason, the rest of that video didn't record. I guess my computer, my computer, I guess my camera sort of bugged out. Um, I'm actually filming this bit on my iPhone because my camera is not here. But I still wanted to make this video happen for you guys, so I'm going to uh, pick up where I left off and share the pros and cons of the Cartier Ballon Blue. I still wanted to finish this video for you guys, so hope you don't mind the change in outfit and um, the audio might be a little bit different because I'm filming on my iPhone, uh, so I hope, I hope you can bear with me. So I'm going to move on to the pros for this watch. Um, I think the best feature of the Ballon Blue style is that it is this really nice mix of like a feminine and somewhat masculine watch. It's not too feminine, it's not too masculine, um, it's like that happy medium right in between and it's really easy to dress up and down. It's That's why I was able to wear this as a daily watch for more than four years where I'm just like day in and day out, I'm happy to wear it. I don't feel like it clashes with too much of my other jewelry or anything, any of my outfits. It's pretty seamless. It's really easy to wear for daily use and that's why I really recommend this watch. Like I think it's a beautiful silhouette that works so well with so many outfits and um, styles, you know? Like, you could be a really, like, 
dandy person you know you're all you you like to wear a suit all the time I think it goes really well you could be someone who likes to wear like t-shirt and jeans it also goes really well so I think um, from that from like a versatility standpoint I think this watch is really great for that I also just love the really classic silhouette I think the, the Roman numerals help with that a bit um, and also just like the silver face and the black leather strap I really love having the leather strap. I think it adds a, a wonderful element of like warmth to the watch. So I think that's really nice. I also think the leather strap like helps it mold to your wrist better. So there's some element of, you know, just, just that warmth. So I love it. And the one last pro that I have for this watch is that it has a really low profile. It's really comfortable and it sits it doesn't sit too high off your wrist that you know it's hard to get your sleeve like over it or anything like that it is really sleek and comfortable on the wrist uh, which makes it really great for daily wear so the only con that I have for this watch is and I think it's just a characteristic because it, it is a leather strap it happened it started happening very recently maybe in like the last year or so um, sometimes when it gets really hot or it gets wet there's like a little bit of black that gets that's like on my wrist so when I take the watch off at the end of the day there's like a black smudge <laughs> on my wrist and maybe it's from the edge coat maybe it's like I don't know from some like little bit of dye from the strap but there is this little bit of like a black smudge on my wrist that I then have to like wash off it doesn't happen all the time it hasn't really happened recently so i do think it's when like in the summertime when i'm like really hot i might be sweating a little bit more or um like i've been washing my hands a ton so like there's like some excess water that's in there that gets like kind of stuck in there but um i that's the only real con that i have now one thing i wanted to mention is that the hour and minute hands are not like glow in the dark i know there are some watches where the watch face will you know be better for you to read in the dark um that doesn't bother me i don't necessarily look for that in a watch so um i don't mind that it's not there but i did want to mention that in case that's a con for anybody else so net net in terms of like do i think this is worth it i absolutely think it is a worthwhile watch i think if you are starting your watch journey i feel like this is a really great watch to start off with um sometimes i think like rolex can be a little intimidating if that makes sense i think this is a really great like entry level watch for luxury watches it doesn't bother me that it's a quartz movement though they do have automatics um if you're able to find one on the pre-love market i think that's also an excellent option to like try it out and see if you like it um i think the prices the pre-love prices for the cartier ballon blues are can be a little bit lower than some of like the the rolexes and things like that so um, that can also be an excellent option and if you want something that's a little bit different from what you feel like a lot of people are getting then i think the cartier is also a great route um, it has a super classic look to it it's not overly it's not overly loud per se but people will recognize it so that's everything i apologize for the little snafu with the clips i don't know what happened to it um it's now like gone somewhere in the digital ether somewhere um but i hope you found this review helpful um let me know your thoughts on the ballon bleu style in the comments down below do you have one do you want to get one do you have any other questions definitely leave those down below or head on over to instagram and you can ask me there as well if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate all of your feedback and support. If you like this kind of content and you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. I post new fashion related videos every Sunday and Wednesday. So until next time, bye.